how's it going? Welcome back to Jason's General. Today we're doing another best of one um, second draft of Murders of Karlov Manor. And I've done one draft, one paper draft, and this is our third draft now. Might just try to play this, seems fine. That, that could be incorrect, but being able to cast two dinosaurs in four turns, and seems, I guess it's not great. Maybe I shouldn't have taken this. If you don't get this out early, it's kind of bad. Judith, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, choose one. That spell gains death touch and life link. Create a 2 2 red imp creature token with when the creature dies, it deals two damage to each opponent. Seems pretty decent. Maybe it's sent to the battlefield, distribute two counters among other among one or two other creatures you control. Creatures you control have a total power. Hmm. I think Torch the Witness is the safest pick here. Dude, it seemed pretty decent too. So this is a battlefield, you may search a library for her hand or a library for a card named Magnifying Glass and or a card named Thinking Cap and put them onto the battlefield. I don't know what those cards are. I've seen this card before. I don't know if that's like a micro synergy that you can play around. I'm just trying to pick up the Magnifying Glass and Thinking Caps. I'm really not sure. Oh, here's Thinking Cap. Oh, that seemed bad. Hard-hitting hard hitting question is good. Decent removal spell. Whenever innocent bystanders dealt through more damage, investigate. Seems average. When does the battlefield investigate? Every draw your second card each turn, this gets plus one in vigilance. Murder is obviously Dece. I'm just gonna take the uh, let's take murder. Maybe we can be green. Green black or something. It is, is an additional cost of the spell. You may collect evidence. Eat. Search your library for a basic land card. If evidence collected, instead search your library for a creature or land card. Flying 2-2. Two, two. Exile this from your graveyard. Create 2-1-1 one, one bats. Or flying 1-3, not 2-2. Two, two. Basic land cycling seems fine. Kind of just down to staying green since we don't know what our second color is yet. Sunders the battlefield suspect enchanted creature. Enchanted creature gets plus one plus one. I've turned it from a graveyard to the battlefield. I guess it's a fine aggressive card. This is the battlefield to investigate whenever you sacrifice an artifact, target opponent gets two poison counters. Maybe mana fixing seems fine. Breakout. Look at the top six cards of your library. Maybe may, you may reveal a creature card from among them. If that card has a mana value two or less, you may put it on the battlefield. It gains haste to the end of turn. If you didn't put the reveal card onto the battlefield this way, put it in your hand. The rest of the bottom of your library in any order. With two mana, you can get a 2-2. Two, two. Hmm. When this enters the battlefield, untap enchanted creature against hexproof until end of turn. If suspected, it's no longer suspected. It gets plus two. Death touch and lifelink seems fine. I actually thought this card seemed pretty good. 
It says hexproof as long as it's your turn. Can't be blocked by creatures that don't have a name. I'm going to take the 2-2 two, two red herring. It's also two cards from a single graveyard. Target player gains two life and draws a card. Turn up to two card creatures from your graveyard to your hand. Seems good. Sacrifice another creature, draw a card. If the sacrifice creature is suspected, draw two cards. Take the trick. I feel like this is a fine trick. So five, five for five with some upside. <clears throat> I think this card's mildly playable. There's quite a few artifacts in this format. Someone completely wrecked me with it in one of my drafts, like my first draft that I posted. When sent to the battlefield, put an imposter counter on each creature you control. Whenever a creature you control with an imposter counter dies, exile it, return up to one other target creature from your graveyard to the battlefield. Huh. Bring your combinator and create a thopter. The flying gains haste until the end of turn, sacrifice at the beginning of your next end step. Galvanize. Double Strikes Trample feels pretty sweet, as well as Galvanize. I think I'm going to take this. I think this is like a win con. Beginning your end step of a face down creature enter the battlefield under control this turn, put a woman counter on this, add green. I feel like one one's not a very good stat line. We might try to want to get we might want to try to get some investigate cards. Since we have two of these land cyclers. When this enters the battlefield, suspect it. Whenever this deals combat damage to a player, you draw a card and you lose one life. I'm just going to go with the gardener here. Although the goat seems pretty good too. I think I'm just going to take the goat. Oh, of course. Whenever this enters the battlefield or attacks, you may collect evidence for if you do create two, two one black and green spider creature tokens with menace and reach. Dog walker. Hmm. I'm just gonna take the more aggressive card. That card does seem pretty good though. We do have the basic land cyclers. Ah, that was probably a mistake. When this attacks, you may. Collect evidence three when you do put a counter on target creature you control. I 
think I like this card better. I think this person of interest is a really good card in the format. Yeah, I'm regretting not taking that spider card. Because we're somewhere in the middle of like aggressive and non-aggressive right now. I think Fanatical Strength is probably playable. Since there's not a lot of, um, or there's a lot of creatures that have Ward 2, I feel like Pump Spells go up quite a bit because it's hard for people to target your creatures. Deck's a little bit of a mess right now. Doc Walker was definitely not the pick on that turn. <laughs> you might even want to just consider cutting green. But then what? Where does that leave us? Not in a great place. This card's fine. Take a slime or not. Slime synergy. Get into the mono slime deck. I'll do it if we get the opportunity. Not a lot of good cards here for us. I guess let's just take Masker Girl. I doubt we're playing it. I wonder how many playables we have if we just play <laughs> red. It's plus one for each force you control and it's turned face up. Search your library for two force cards and reveal them. Put one in the battlefield. Oh, this seems great. Let's take this. We're definitely going forests. Or we're going gruel. I mean. Could splash for white and play meddling youth. Center the battlefield is turn face up, target creature gains indestructible until end of turn. It's pretty good. Try target creature with planes out worth of mana value three or less. That's good for us. Creature tokens control have add one mana of other color. Whenever one or more creature cards leave your graveyard, put a zero one green plant. Da -da -da -da.
enters the battlefield, distribute three one one counters among two one, two, or three creatures you control, then then you gain life equal to the greatest toughness among creatures you control. Seems fine, I'm gonna go for it. A nice steel effect could be interesting. Glass goodbye. I'm just gonna take another person of interest. <laughs> mm -mm. This equipment seems interesting. Is something one two. Can't be blocked by more than one creature, and it can draw a card. I think Felonous Rage is good too. I think we're going to be splashing. Her seems really good. Has a lot of upside. She put a sacrifice as a creature. We have a lot of creature tokens. I don't think so. Okay. Deck's a bit of a disaster. We were a bit disorganized when we were drafting. This one was a little bit messy. Um, those are land cyclers. So this is makes a 2-2 two, two, and then X is 2 plus a number of total cards you don't own an XL. So it makes a 2-2 two, two, and then a 3-3. Three, three. So we, you definitely need more than 2. I don't even think it's good enough, to be honest, to play. Um, how many creatures do we have? 12. Hmm. I assume this is just non-playable. Which kind of sucks. Because we took it so early. No, don't know why I did that. But we could cut the white and just bring in Some black cards. Really unsure, but this deck is definitely awkward.
Hmm. Yeah, I think we end up bringing in like these two striders and then Probably <clears throat> murder. Presume dead. And extract a confession. I like that. I think it's better than last goodbye. I think last goodbye is probably fine, but costs like four mana just to kill a two drop, like a two drop with ward, one of the, the disguised ones. These are essentially three drops. I think I'm going to cut rope for Felonous Rage. <clears throat> I kind of like the idea of I write Ali BB, but let's just try this. I think we are lacking some synergy. Okay, fine hand. Actually, quite a good hand. Opponent scoops. Alright, I'll take the free win. I'm not super confident in the deck, so... Happy to, happy, happy to take a free win. Okay, I uh, got all our colors. Bull rack. I guess this is fine. Alright, let's say go basic land cycling this, get ourselves a mountain. Okay, there's the dogs, sure. I don't know if we can survive this, <clears throat> this outcome. Yeah, we got all our most expensive cards. It's not good.
works for me, I'll take the trade. Maybe they forgot that this can't block. All right, we got two choices. We can play this face down. Next turn, we wouldn't be able to pop it up. Or we just play the person of interest. I think that seems okay. They hit their land drop. Works for me. We are not the deck that you want to go into the long game with, that's for sure. Helix. Okay. Play this tap down. Play this tap down. Just can't block. Might as well swing. Take it. We want to take six. No, I don't think so. Let's drop this down. Boom, boom, boom. Go two counters here, one counter here. All right, so say go. They're going to draw off their clue. Gonna hit this now, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alright, 
Let's say go. I don't think we need to play our dog walker yet. Oh, why did I do it like that? That was a mistake. I still, I guess they still would have killed it. All right, let's just pull back. All right. Let's flip this. I wonder if we, we if we're supposed to if we're supposed to start applying pressure. Um. Mm, that was kind of dumb. That was dumb. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> kind of a misplay there. Kind of a big misplay. Sure. <clears throat> I don't know why I made that swing. That was silly.
Oh, I thought this was the removal spell. This is so much less good for us. Um, okay, they solved the case on this, which is problematic. Get him for seven. We can get him for eight. Bring him to seven. <clears throat> to say go. Some good hits. They're just going to make a Thopter every time now. That's super problematic. This has reach. Probably going to die though. And it has a suspect counter on it, which is terrible. Let's just go to the next game. <laughs> Alright, we're getting lucky with our lands. I guess this hand's fine. White, red, sure. Swing in, we have to. This thing is forced to block every combat. Get ourselves a swamp.
All right. Um, prowess haste. Okay, they just they just want to try to race now. I think we can go. I think we go one three and basic land cycling. No, let's just play our person of interest. Get a two two. Scary. Oh my god. All right, let's let's start with drawing. Draw a card. I don't think we need green. I guess we would for basic land cycling, but I don't think that's the route I want to go. All right, now we can go scapegoat. Since the battlefield is suspected, whenever one or more of the creatures enter the battlefield under your control, if this is suspected, you may suspect one of the other creatures. If you do, this is no longer suspected. Um. I think let's just play the 1 3. We'll get him for 4. Or actually, we can get him for 5. The race is on. Our deck is definitely super awkward. We have a bunch of creatures that can't block in the early game. Block here. I don't mind losing the strider. Oh, I didn't even consider the fact that this head. That was silly. Oh well. That's fine. Let's just swing in for four and play our panther. I think that's the play over murder or extract, yeah. Sure. 
great. Okay. This has to swing and block. I think we kill something before combat. Pretty good hit for us. As long as I didn't draw a removal spell, I'm feeling pretty good. Okay, we got the block. Right on. Not bad. Not bad. Playing out okay. I think I'll get one more game in, then I'll have some dinner and come back to this. Okay, again, we're getting really lucky with our mana base. I'll take it. And smoothers in our favor today. All right, let's get in with our little red herring. I'm totally okay with people using removal on our red herring. They're curving out pretty well. I'm a little bit nervous. I guess we could have waited to to murder this, making some rookie mistakes, but Wait, they're going to get a draw. All right. 
Alright, let's swing in. And we'll play our panther. <clears throat> oh, we can't play our panther. Oh no. That's bad. <laughs> I didn't even clue in the fact that we didn't have anything. Mm. Alright, we're taking three. Didn't even clue into the fact that I didn't have an additional forest there. Play this guy. Play this guy. Swinging for two. Hope they don't have some kind of five toughness removal. Sure. Damn. Tapped us down weird. <clears throat> we actually want double red, but it's all right. We can filter if we need to. Okay, they're going to destroy that, sure. Flip these guys around. mind losing the dog walker at this point. Uh oh. That's a good draw. this six Oh, we're just dead. <laughs> All right, do we have reach? No.
All right. Well, that didn't go too too great, but that's all right. Not expecting a whole ton from this deck. All right, we are back and we are going into game five now. Let's see. I know our deck's a little bit <clears throat> on the dirtily side. We've uh, uh, we've got some awkward mana bases, and um, you know it's it's uh, it's a little bit on the awkward side. Um, just gonna keep it, ship it. Let's go. Um, nice draw. We'll run out our uh, red herring next. <clears throat> sure. I want to trade, that's fine. Okay, I was thinking about cycling for land, but I don't think we need to anymore. This crime novelist is one of the cards that goes infinite with the, um, the new goblin leaf. I don't know if it goes infinite and limited, but it goes infinite and constructed. Yeah, one of the problems with their deck is just a little bit slow. A little bit too slow. But I guess turn five, turn six, turn seven is looking pretty good. See no reason to block. I'm just going to sack my red herring in response. Player 5-5. Five, five. Pretty bad. Yeah, I think they got us with that one. <sighs> okay, GG's. Well, deck didn't uh, didn't play out too well. I, I feel like we didn't have really the synergy that we needed to uh, make this one come together. Hmm. I think I did a little bit too much waffling in the draft element, the draft portion, and uh, ultimately should have just tried to be a bit more focused. Anyway, not so bad. Um, if you like what you watch, please comment, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next one. Cheers. Bye.